Are you ready to turn your potential into performance? If so, you're in the right place. This is the Coach Brew Show, and here's your host, John Brubaker. Welcome to the Coach Brew Show Performance Report, episode number 499. And for this episode, we have a very special guest, a member of the female persuasion who happens to be related to me, and that would be my daughter, Meredith Brubaker. And we're talking about the fact that you don't need permission to succeed. You can blaze your own trail. Uh, Meredith is here to provide a little commentary at the end of this podcast. Uh, But Meredith, introduce yourself. Say hello to everybody first. Hello. You excited to be here? Definitely. You sound thrilled. (laughs) So we're talking, you don't need permission to succeed, blaze your own trail. And I wanted to bring my daughter, of all people, on uh, the podcast because uh, I won't pretend to know what it's like to be a woman in business. But female friends and colleagues have shared countless stories of the challenges they've faced. Uh, Incredibly talented professionals who are paid less than their male peers in the same roles passed over for promotion in favor of men who are less qualified. Now, it doesn't take a brain surgeon to see the deck is stacked against women in most professions. Um, My wife didn't want to come on the podcast, and my younger daughter, Julia, uh, did not want to either. But uh, Meredith is gracious enough to, and... um, I think it's it's good timing right now to talk about this. Recently, the trending hashtag Me Too hashtag uh, brought increased awareness not only to sexual harassment and abuse, but to our collective consciousness uh, just how widespread and far reaching gender discrimination continues to be. And um, I read an interesting article where they cited a Jennifer Hyman, who's the CEO of Rent the Runway. And she stated that gender discrimination is even larger workplace issue than sexual harassment. So the power differential is real, folks. And it's troubling, to say the least, on a number of levels. Uh, As the father of two young daughters, I worry that when my daughters enter the workforce, women may still face a steeper uphill, uphill climb than their male counterparts. And because I worry about that, you know, somebody really fascinating, interesting, uh, courageous and strong uh, caught my attention. And uh, now more than ever, I think that's important. There's a need for female empowerment, strong, courageous female voices and inspiring examples. And that's somebody I was referencing is entrepreneur and entertainer Stephanie Quayle, who's a uh, country artist. Fantastic stadium status, if you will, country artist. Uh, She's that empowering example in action. Uh, I want to encourage you to take a listen to her song, Ugly. It basically serves as a de facto uh, empowerment anthem for women. It's an awesome song. I recently had the opportunity to sit down with her in Nashville, and in my interview with her, she stated that she's always been what her family calls a crusader and one who takes up for the underdog. And she said that she's been the underdog. She believes her music has to be more than just number ones or hits. It has to positively impact people. And I've shared her music with a ton of people uh, in my network, my community. There's links in my newsletter this week um, to her music. You can go to stephaniequayle.com. That's Q-U-A-Y-L-E. stephaniequayle.com. And listen to some of her music. Her new album is amazing. It's called Love the Way You See Me. But, uh, you know, again, really timely. Her positive impact and empowering message uh, literally was felt by millions on the night of Saturday, October 21st. So just a couple weeks ago, Quail performed at the Deep from the Heart One America Appeal concert alongside uh, Alabama, Lee Greenwood, Lady Gaga, uh, and a host of other iconic artists. Uh, They were there to raise funds for hurricane relief in Texas. But there was one big difference between Quail and all the other entertainers who took the stage that night. 
she was the only artist there who perform who formed her own record label. So what gives me hope for the future and hope for, you know, the journey that my daughter is sitting right next to me is going to take when she enters adulthood and is in the workplace and hopefully uh, starts her own business and is an entrepreneur like her dad. Uh, what gives me hope for the future are entrepreneurial artists like Stephanie Quayle. Uh, you know, the playing field hasn't been level for women in any industry, especially the music industry, you know, and within that in particular, country radio, country music, uh, given the fact that women's songs represent only about 15% of what's played on country radio. And I think examples of empowerment are needed now more than ever because for the first time in history, there are currently five generations in the workplace. Uh, The example of empowerment that Stephanie Quayle provides, not just for women today, but future generations uh, like my daughter, Uh, is that you don't need anyone's permission to succeed. You can blaze your own trail. And now is the best time to do that. Now more more so than ever before. You know, entrepreneurship and disruptive technology are really taking a bulldozer to the powers that be. Technology is literally leveling the playing field right now, placing more and more people on equal footing. How level is the playing field becoming? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. Uh, Unlike ever before, there's a television studio, a radio station, a television studio, radio station, and electronic media outlet at your fingertips 24-7. It's your smartphone. You might be listening to this on that very device right now. It's also your competitive advantage, but only if you use it. You know, I hear people tell me all the time, oh, I wish I had a TV show. Okay, you want to be on TV? Create your own YouTube channel. Uh, you wish you had your own radio show. Well, start a podcast like this one. You want a magazine column? Create a blog. If you're a musician, you want your music heard and monetized. Great. You literally, right now, could go place it on streaming services like Spotify and Pandora. You know, there's no gatekeeper. There's no barrier to entry with a lot of this stuff. You want to scale your physical or digital product sales? Put it on Amazon, iTunes, and Google Play. And if you need a warehouse or fulfillment, Amazon's got you covered there too, folks. Uh, Maybe you're worried, oh, I need investors to do all that. No, you don't. Run a Kickstarter crowdfunding campaign like I did for my movie script. Or list your brand offering on investment sites like netcapital.com. It'll help you attract shareholders and investors. You don't need permission to succeed. You just need the courage to take action. You hear it all the time with, quote, motivational speakers. I can't tell you how many times I've heard people say, you, you know, when they're giving a speech, you have my permission to succeed. Since when do you need their permission? Since when do you need anyone's permission to succeed? You don't. You know, trailblazers and action takers are rewarded because today you have every resource to succeed on your own terms. And one of the things I respect and admire most about Stephanie Quayle is she's living, breathing proof of this because she's blazing multiple trails, entrepreneur, artist, and executive. You know, Stephanie referred to herself uh, in my interview with her as being patiently impatient. Let me explain that. I want to quote her, you know, quote, you don't have to ask for permission. Choose yourself. I don't believe in can't and I don't believe in the word no for myself, my business and for the people I work with. And it's a direct quote from Stephanie. And I couldn't agree with her more. You know, can't shouldn't be in your vocabulary, regardless of uh, whether you're an entrepreneur, or you're an employee somewhere. You know, it's a mindset. So not, you know, not waiting to be discovered or hoping for someone else's approval to land a record deal. She wasn't waiting for permission. She went and founded her own record label, Rebel Engine Entertainment. Uh, this this past summer, to promote her forthcoming her forthcoming album, Love the Way You See Me. Stephanie enlisted the support of some corporate partners. Campground of America, Winnebago, Polaroid, and the RV Loft sponsored her as she literally blazed her trail over 9,000 miles in North America 
in a Winnebago. She called it, uh, imagine this, she called it her Winnebago tour, which I thought was just perfect. So like, you know, if you wish you had additional resources like that to take your business to another level, stop wishing. You know, Stephanie's advice is to go ahead and just seek out sponsors and corporate partners who align with your brand, which is exactly what she did, and share that same authentic message. Now, the bottom line really is, empowering more women to find their voice, I believe, and blaze their own trails, going to make the world a better place. And that's part of the reason I wanted my daughter sitting in here and sharing some of her experience and feedback is she's read the article. She listens to Stephanie's music, but I wanted her to hear this again. Entrepreneurship, I think, is one of the most powerful forces for good in the world. Trailblazers like Quail create opportunities, build community, solve problems, and transform lives. And you know what? You don't need anyone's permission to do the same thing. So uh, I'd encourage you to check out Stephanie's new album, Love the Way You See Me. And it's available at stephaniequail.com and on iTunes and everywhere else that music is sold. Uh, right now, I had a couple questions for my daughter, Meredith. Uh, Meredith, give me your... Um, just kind of first impressions of you know Stephanie and what she's done and accomplished, and then I have another personal question for you. Well, I was reading your article, and I did not know that Stephanie had created her own record label. I think that's very impressive, and I was listening to her music in the car with you. It just it was incredible. So what I find really interesting is you're working on your homework assignment this weekend and it's to create a podcast. And, you know, that's an opportunity for you, you to share your unique voice and your message with the world, uh, just like she or anyone else is doing, uh, just like I'm doing right now. You know, you couldn't have done that when I was your age. Yeah, I know I'm old. You couldn't have done that like a generation ago or even maybe even just a few years ago before podcasting became a thing. Uh, You literally were at the mercy of a gatekeeper at a radio station to put your message on the air at a newspaper to print whatever you wrote. Um, Do you even do you realize or at your age, do you kind of take for granted that you can just create whatever you want on that iPhone six? Is that the iPhone six you have there? I think so. Yeah, you can create all of that content and market and promote your product, service, whatever you're doing, your message, like literally right at your fingertips. Do you just take that for granted? I think sometimes my generation does take that for granted because we've never lived without it. We've always had the technology available for us and we're using it nonstop, 24-7. Uh, literally nonstop, 24-7. I had... Uh, to teach her about entrepreneurship, I had her raking leaves this weekend, and she had her smartphone in hand with her raking leaves, and she's rolling her eyes as as we as I mention this. But um, do you understand what a powerful resource that is, and all the different things you can do on that one device? It's very powerful, and there are ways that is dangerous there are also ways that it can help you to start a business as well yeah so let's shift gears a little bit my question for you like personal experience wise um you know women obviously you've learned uh, are discriminated against you know in terms of how much of their music gets played uh, how much of their music gets played on the radio and um in terms of equal pay, harassment, things like that. Uh, tell everyone what grade you're in, and uh, do, you, do you experience any kind of gender discrimination at school, you know, like with teachers or with your classmates, you know, who are boys, and at your age, boys are still kind of gross. But do you, do you have any kind of perspective on that? Um, I think that... In I'm in eighth grade, and in my grade, saying a f- you you are a feminist, saying that I am a feminist, 
to a few of the boys in my grade, they'll be like, I don't agree with feminism, and... What do, what do your teachers say? Like, like, do you see favoritism? Like, they'll call on the boys more? Or, like, are you notice any, any gender bias? Like, even with adults? Because that's their workplace. That's your school, but that's their workplace. I think that in some of my classes, I don't know if it's because there are more boys than girls in those classes or if the teachers are calling on the boys more, but sometimes it does feel like that. What do you do to make sure that your voice is heard? I just make sure to participate in class and raise my hand as often as possible to prove that I can stand wherever they're standing. I can go wherever they can go. Uh, Side question. Do you sit in the front row? I'm just looking for one little parenting win here. Yes, I sit in the front row. Okay. So, um... Coming from a youth, do you have any any advice um, for adults who are listening when it comes to gender bias in the workplace, the classroom, or anywhere else for that matter? I just think don't underestimate a female because they are so strong. We are so powerful, and anything that... A male can do, a female can do. The same quality or better. You heard it here first, folks. That's my daughter, Meredith Brubaker. Uh, Fire and brimstone. Preach preach on, Sister Meredith. Uh, I I did just want to give you that perspective of um, hearing her voice and her experience. I think um, some of this this gender bias or discrimination does start at an early age. And... um, you know, one last question, Meredith, and, and then we're going to wrap this up. But uh, what was the biggest thing you took from uh, seeing the example that Stephanie Quayle uh, has r- literally provided the world both through uh, the event she performed at for the five presidents and then also uh, being the entrepreneur and entertainer that she is? You know, I, I like to give examples of, you know, if someone if someone can do this or like even myself, if I can do it, anyone can do it. And I. You know, what what was the biggest inspiration you've taken from her and her work? She's just so successful, and I would love to be that successful when I get older. How does one become that successful, male or female? Hard work, definitely. There you go. Uh, Meredith, thanks for coming on the Coach Brew podcast. I appreciate you. So, folks... Um, Again, check out Stephanie's music at stephaniequail.com. That's Stephanie, Q-U-A-Y-L-E. You have been listening to the Coach Brew Show. Uh, This is the Performance Report Edition, which is really basically me, for lack of a better term, narrating my weekly newsletter that I publish on my blog and in my e-news that arrives in your inbox. You want to sign up for that, you just uh, text the word BRU, B-R-U, to the number 22828 that's BRU to 22828 when you do that you're going to get a free ebook uh, as well as be signed up for my newsletter and um, if you like this podcast wherever you're listening to it uh, iTunes Google Play Stitcher uh, wherever podcasts are sold for free as I like to say uh, just go ahead and give it a review give it a rating uh, whatever rating you want to give it and uh, make sure you subscribe so um On behalf of Meredith and myself, thanks for tuning in. You are listening to the Coach Brew Show, and we will catch you next week. Thanks for listening to the Coach Brew Show. If you're not currently subscribed to the podcast, sign up now on iTunes, Google Play, or Stitcher. And for more information to turn your potential into performance, head on over to coachbrew.com now.